In this video, I'll show you how to use V.io to automatically add subtitles to MP4 video. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, this is my first time using V.io. Therefore, I'm going to create my first ever video. So if it's your first time, you can sign up from the link below because Vid is an online video editor that does a lot of things and we are going to use it in this tutorial to add subtitles to our video. So I'm going to click on create project and this is going to bring me to the edit interface or more or less the, pla uh, the, the, the project interface. Now you can begin by creating a blank project like what I want to do. Uh, you can also use a template uh, and then you can also record your webcam, a slide presentation ADC really awesome. You can also import files from Dropbox, YouTube, etc. We also have a couple of stock media available for use and stock audio. So if you are actually creating some videos, the stock media can act as B-roll, the uh, stock audio can also act as some good background music. Now, we want to add subtitles to our video. So let's just get that video and I'll actually just drag and drop it right inside here. So if I let go, it's going to uh, load up and depending on the length and the size of your video and your bandwidth, it may take a while for your video to actually uh, be available for that. So uh, from the project settings here, you'll need to do a couple of things. You'll need to set the size that you want because this is important uh, depending on uh, the default or the end uh, output of your video. So for example, this is a landscape view good for YouTube uh, and most other applications. Uh, but if you want a square video, uh, YouTube is more or less what I have right now. A landscape, more or less uh, the YouTube format, Twitter and Facebook portrait and all these things. You need to choose that because most of the times uh, when you may need to use V.io is maybe for social media videos, uh, for maybe Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, etc. So choose what works for you. The original for me works best. So I'll leave it as it is. What's the background color? You can choose. You can actually add an image if you want. You can clean audio to remove the background noise if you want to. I won't remove that. And the duration, is it automatic? Is it fixed? You can choose this if you wanted to add a more content for that. But let's leave everything as it is. Looks really good. Now, from this section, what we're going to do is we are going to click on subtitles. That's why you're watching this video, because for the subtitles, you have three options. The auto subtitles, where you automatically add subtitles to video. The manual subtitles, where you type your subtitles manually. If you have a short video and you feel like typing it up, you can do that. And then you can upload a subtitle file. You use an existing subtitle file, e.g. an SRT, a VTT, etc. So for us, we want to use the auto subtitle. Click on that. And then you need to select the language being spoken in the video. This particular video is in English. So I'll select that and then uh, you can click on create subtitles. But I'd like to mention that there are over 100 uh, supported languages here. And for me in Kenya, I do know we do have Swahili uh, and that is good. So if you had Swahili videos, you can actually uh, work uh, using V.io's uh, subtitle, automatic subtitle engine. So let's click on create subtitles generating subtitles you may need to go uh, and grab yourself a snack uh, and or continue editing now the reason for this is if you have a long video then it may take some time to actually automatically generate the subtitles uh, it's pro progressing really well let's see what we get now so here we go it's a short video so what we can do we can actually just play it welcome back to my youtube channel my name is david and let's get into today's video Looks good. Uh, it does the capitalization well, punctuation, etc. Uh, don't think there's much to say right there. So if actually all you wanted was that, uh, you can actually now see the other options available. We have the option to translate uh, this particular subtitle to different languages. You have the option to style uh, using the different animations available. Uh, you can do the styling. You also have the option uh, to actually subtitle delay. You can shift that. Uh, you can download the SRT, you can delete all subtitles. Now, uh, really depends on what you're looking for. So what we can do now is we can actually just pull this up slightly and then... Uh, Welcome back to my YouTube. Let's assume you wanted to ban the subtitles to your videos because already they're available for you. All you need to do is go to export 
once you do that ensure that you switch uh, from whatever preset that is available maybe to a, a file format or a file dimension that you want you can click on that to choose the different options and then you can scroll down if you had 4k it really depends on what you want uh, for this but i'll leave it as the hd default and then to ban the subtitles included to your video make sure that this particular option is turned on once you're satisfied click on export video now it will take some time uh depending on the length of your video they are preparing my video and there we go it's almost done 100 percent and then if we actually play our video let's close this welcome back to my youtube channel my name is david and let's get into today's video looks really good nothing to complain about if you're satisfied then you can click on the download button to download your mp4 video right from v.io backend interface and that is how you can use v.io to automatically add subtitles to mp4 video and also ban the subtitles to your video thanks for watching this video until next time stay safe and never stop learning